Chief is a family-owned, Nebraska-based company comprised of seven diverse brands. Chief, trusted, tested, true. Good morning, everybody. I know it's been about a week since I've posted. Um, and in that time, we've done a large assortment of things and I filmed most of them. And so today's video, I just wanna get you a little bit up to speed with what I've been doing. Um, aside from the stuff you're gonna see in today's video, I have some projects that I've been working on that you'll see later. Um, but then also Grant and I have just been spending some time together and spending time with our families. And then I also think it's really important every once in a while to just disconnect and spend time with your neighbors, especially in the country, because Grant and I will be here for the rest of our lives. So I really wanna put roots down and be able to be good friends with my neighbors. So anyways, here's what we've been up to this past week. I hope you enjoy. Look at all this stuff. I'm telling you, I think under just about every field, look at that. There's some kind of like farmstead, I mean, from however long ago. But if you just look down and around. Oh yeah, your truck's gonna be famous. You could. Okay, she'll, she'll put a mention in for you. Okay, we'll let you know when the video comes out. You can watch it. We're gonna go act like we're gonna go act like we're fixing it. So we're, we're gonna take all the credit. All right, we'll see you, Jeff. Thank you. What do you say? Oh, he's just giving us a hard time. Oh my goodness. Should we go fix it. Yeah. Anyways, if you just look down. This stuff just works its way up through the dirt every year. I just think it's so pretty. Like, what in the world? What is this stuff? And I really, really like all the colored glass. I think it's beautiful. Grant, why don't you, why don't you give us a little rundown? Um, so our good friends, Perfect Circle Irrigation, helped us fix this pivot. It shut off right there. Don't know what happened. Um, anyway, so there was an electrical component in the box at the center point that was burnt up and helped us fix that and because that electrical component burnt up it was single phasing all of the motors out there and they're all three phase motors and so it burnt the fuses out on the end gun and we really need to put water on our crops because look if we have no water <laughs> it looks like this this so. this is what dry land corners look like so the pivot does not hit this corn and uh look at this some of it just didn't even bother to come up and Let's see here, is that, an, is that an ear of corn I see? Uh, no, there is nothing in there. This is pitiful. So this is why we really need to get our pivot going. Absolutely. Save our crops. I've said this many times before, I don't mess with electrical stuff. That is for professionals. And that is why we had Jeff out from Perfect Circle to help me out. Because you couldn't pay me enough money to be poking around electrical panels and all that sense. Boy. Dryland corn's pretty easy to walk through. You can see over it. I would, be, I would love to be walking through 10 foot tall corn right now. The uh, irrigated corn, it's like it would start down here and then would go all the way up, way taller than I could see, but not the case for this stuff. This really just goes to show how incredibly thankful we are to have access to irrigation as big of a pain as it is. Oh, now we're getting into some stuff that the pivot hits and I have not changed my phone camera's level. It's really just getting taller and taller in real time here, if you see what I mean. Pretty easy to get lost out here. Oh man, I think this stuff is leaned over from the storm we had. Oh, look at this. Look at this, this is what you call a gooseneck. So the corn kinda like leaned over, but then it righted itself to go up to the sunshine. So it's like right in the middle of the row. Kind of interesting. See, Ready? I see you wore your farmer outfit today. Ah, yes. Any outfit is a farmer outfit person who's wearing it is a farmer huh uh, that does have a true statement in it all right what are we working with up here 
these little fuses burnt out. So we're going to replace them. Wow, what a view from up here. Look at yeah, this. It looks nice. Hello. I forgot a screwdriver. Can I see what the burnt up fuse looks like? Well, you can't really tell. Oh, because it's not like see-through? Yeah, see, it's a, it's a little fuse. <laughs> <laughs> it's so small. Um, now you have pockets? Wait, wait, you don't even have pockets in your clothes. No pockets, sorry. See, I, I got a hand, I got a hand. How are you gonna crawl down? I don't know. See, cargo shorts. See, superior farming outfit. Whatever. Okay. Boop. Not. Perfect. Now that end gun should turn on. Do you see this little thing? This is the little T. When the end gun is on and it's not supposed to be on, you have to uh, unplug or plug this in. Sometimes you gotta bleed the air out of them. I know this wire well. Okay, I think our work here is done. Let's just go start it. Thank goodness Jeff did all the hard work for us. Yeah, uh, thank goodness for Jeff. Call Jeff. If you don't have his number, sorry. <laughs> what? Jeff is the pivot man. <laughs> if you don't have Jeff's number, he probably doesn't want you calling him anyways. <laughs> that dude got 20 phone calls in the 30 minutes we were talking with him. Yeah. I'm telling you guys. This is the life out here. It really doesn't get much better than this. Some people get to soak up the morning sun from like their front porches, um, like on their drives to work. I just get to stand on top of pivots. All right, walking out. Okay, bye. Walk safe. When I was little, my parents used to say that if you ever get lost in a cornfield, don't try like walking around to find a way out. Just pick a row and walk all the way to the end and you'll end up out of the field eventually. It might take a little while though. different kind of tractor on the farm today. I could not be more excited. Hi Jordan! Our yard is finally getting fertilized. I could not be more excited. Pepper! Are you ready to pop any day? I can't wait to meet your kitties. There we go. Eat up. You got babies to feed.
I know everyone's question is going to be, Laura, what in the world are you guys doing? Are you mowing down crops? The answer is no. We're on the end rows of the field, and as you can see, the beans aren't that great. They have not canopied, not even close, meaning that weeds have just taken them over, specifically in that spot right there. So Gage and I are going in and manual labor chopping out these weeds and Grant has the cushy job in the Bobcat with the big mower attachment on it. But this just goes to show that uh, one, spraying doesn't solve all your problems. And even though we have lots of technology and fancy things in our cabs, we still have to do manual labor. Man, these things get big so fast. And sometimes it's better to sacrifice a few small bean plants that aren't going to produce too much um, to stop the spreading of the weeds and save the entirety of the field. All right, Grant, don't get stuck down there. Thank you for watching today's video. If you haven't already, check out the merchandise we have available. We sell t-shirts, hats, and stickers with Bunker branding, and you can find those below the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed everything that Grant and I have been up to for the past week, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.